What? What? Still hell-bent on finding out what the deal was with her stolen body, Penny followed the directions of an ancient, mysterious, eldritch, and completely bonkers witch ghost called Vera. Vera claimed to have seen the same evil eyes in Penny's doppelganger that she'd seen somewhere else before, and pointed her loosely in the direction of another ghost, the long-dead mythical blacksmith. Surely, Penny thought, this blacksmith will know a thing or two about my predicament. And she was right. The blacksmith might actually know those things. But reaching her wouldn't be easy. Surely, Penny thought, by running through a sequence of events in which I find where the blacksmith is imprisoned, and with the aid of a mermaid with a chainsaw, liberate her, not to mention the things I do along the way, including but not limited to rescuing a magician from an abusive relationship with a bunny, then I'll be able to finally talk to the blacksmith. And Penny was right again. And after doing all those things she just said, Penny finally was able to sit back, relax, and listen to the blacksmith's tale of loss, misunderstanding, and death. Chapter 4! Boom, 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 boom! It all started a centuries ago, in olden times. I was the best blacksmith in the world, and people came from all over for my services. But someone coming from beyond the grave was... new. I was cleaning my fireplace, as all good blacksmiths occasionally do, when a knock came at my door. Hello? Hey there. Bent the old scythe, trying to pry open a jar of these old-timey preserves, which makes sense because that's what we all ate before anyone invented jelly beans. Absolutely. Happens all the time. Not a problem. I'll just get the old fireplace going. Okay. You, uh, got a lot of scythes here? Fair amount, I guess. Not too many owned by death himself, right? Buddy, what you dress up as in your own time is no concern of mine. I'm... I don't dress as him. I mean, yes, I do dress as him, but that's because I am actually dead. I'll have it done for you ASAP. Bye. Yeah. <sighs> so I had to quickly make a fire in the furnace. There was no wood and no spark here, but I knew I'd figure it out somehow. <sighs> two lovebirds singing a song. I love her. And he loves me. Together, we're in harmony. Just her and me. And... Ah! But I didn't have time to sit around and listen to music. I had a mission. It is right! Sisters in the wild. Uh, all right. A grim scene awaited. Okay, everyone. It's Wednesday. So today is our standard problematic burning of the witch. Today's a pretty standard witch. So if you'll all take your places. I can't believe this. I protect this whole freaking town from hexes. I bring good luck to all I see. Plus, oh, plus, I fly around on my broom only vertically. So everything I fly over gets swept for free. And this is how you thank me. That woman had a lot of spit in her. I honestly admired that. It's good to that form KW523 with a public burning of weird and... The fire was too hot for anyone. There had to be another way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, if this is a flashback, can I change the past? If you never fix Death Scythe, then none of this happens. And then weird, crazy, cosmic time travel stuff has solved all my problems. See, Penny, this is why nobody has ever let you play through their flashbacks before. This is an advanced storytelling technique that I'm sharing with you. And for it to work, you need to start that fire. Okay, okay, geez. Single immutable timeline, got it. Listen, can you not burn the switch? It's kind of completely crazy. Gasp! Evil spirits! Everyone, I will not listen to your spirits! I was I muted. Mean, you could use the spire to make some s'mores instead. You've invented those, right? I can't hear you! Have a good night, Hazy. La, 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 la. No? Oh man, they're great! Listen, once I'm done here, you really gotta look into roasting marshmallows with chocolate and graham crackers. Fantastic. Thanks for letting me know my mic was muted. Y'all have a good night, you <laughs> Hazy. So I was trying to figure out uh, who I should possess first, and I decided to possess the Pope. That was the evil intent stare. All right, let's quirk around. Burn the Pope. Burn him. Okay, thank you, thank you. Cool. Alright, let's possess Vera, see what she's thinking. Hey, I'm gonna possess you real quick. I think I can help. Esmeralda? Are you playing a prank on me? Esmeralda? Who's Esmeralda? <laughs> Don't play stupid with me, Esmeralda. You're the one witch who's always been jealous of my superior witching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, look where it's gotten you. Fair point. All right, things can't get any worse. Do what you can, Esmeralda. Ooh, yes. Still tied to a pool, Esmeralda. All right, can't do you yet. Let's possess you. Actually, hey, officer. Forsooth, I am from olden times. And your strange accent hath confused me, <laughs> voice in my head. Hey, how can you talk old timey when nobody else does? Because I have paid good attention during my diction classes in school, madame. Of course. Mm -hmm. Tis basic logic. Unless I see no crimes to fight in or any near. Alrighty, uh, let me collect some more souls. And I collected just enough. All right, we'll possess possess the next person. What do you do? The hey, judge. you look like this guy I met, George. George, you say? <gasps> I can't say I know anyone like that. Are you sure? Murderer. You've got the same sort of insanity. Oh, now you're just flattering me. Okay. I bet whatever murdering is involved, it's probably him. I would be doing this anyway. Fire uh, equals hot. It is so simple. It's Dang it. So fine, fine, fine. <sighs> Alright, who's next? Not you. Go away. You. 
Another meatball chef? Hey there. Yes, inner voice? Yeah, this is your brain speaking. I'm gonna control your body for a bit. Wait, what? Okay. okay. Tell them my story! We got a big old Tell them my story. Life's gonna be great. Life's gonna be grand! Not even, even the ironic, ironic forces of tragedy can stop our lovely plans. Okay. Are you serious? Hey there. Yes, inner voice? Yeah, this is your... Hey there. Yes, inner voice? Yeah, this is your brain speaking. I'm gonna control your body for a bit. Wait, what? Okay, leaving. And you. Oh, I need more souls. Come here. Come here, souls. Let me control you. Okay, got got just enough. Who are you? Hi, I'm Penny. My muse! You're finally speaking to me! Uh, yes. Please, continue playing your weird old-timey retro horn instrument. Yes, my muse! I'm really hoping that one day, either me or one of my descendants will invent a new form of music freed from constraints. I want to call it Jazz. Sisters told me no, wait. Jazz. But no, wait. Jazz? Oh, wow, well, that's perfect. Thank you, Muse. <laughs> jazz. Charm them. All right, I don't want to do anything yet that may accidentally do something for the story without possessing everybody first. Gotcha. Ah, oh, damn, souls evading me. Gotcha. Some of you. Come here. Yes. I need a little more. Okay, when I said a little more, I didn't mean it literally. I need special souls. Fuck. Alright, we gotta explore the map to find a special soul demon. Hey, it's death! Hey, what do you think you're doing with my scythe? That's supposed to be at the blacksmith. Oh, uh, I don't know how to explain this, but... Oh, wait, I get it. Flashback, right? I get it. Timey-wimey, interactive, mystical memory, visualization happens all the time. It does? Carry on. Yeah. <laughs> all righty, he's really chill. I like that. Continue, what do we get? We got a death card! Like Squid Round is clarinet. <laughs> Beautiful. I, I know you're talking about the Muse guy earlier. Okay, what is there that can be said about this universal constant that hasn't been said already? Death's popular. Everyone tries. He he wears at least once, and he makes sure you're never alone by constantly stalking you through your life. Plus, death's not like those other celebrities, all aloof and unreachable. He'll definitely meet him once one day. Oh yes. I like it. And there you are! Fuck! Fuck! Piece of shit! Every time! <laughs> Let me go! No! <laughs> Get me stuck! Piece of shit! Can never just be alone long enough for you to not blow me up, can I? Woo! Throw it! Throw the damn sight! I'm gonna die. <sighs> yes! Oh. I just barely made it. Alright, let's go possess that, that couple. Oy. Getting good with this siphon. Alright. Okay, I guess he's important, so... Maybe seven or eight! Big old biological urge to procreate. Life's gonna be great. Life's oh my. gonna Hey, move over. I'm driving. Uh, I'm hearing voices? This is new and not entirely welcome. He loves me. Together, we're in heart. A lovely song. I don't know why I'm going over here. <laughs> Alright, let's possess you now. He loves me. 
together, we're in harmony. Just her and me. And me and him. It's love. Hey, I'm um, gotta borrow your body real quick. What? what? Seriously, what? Why is this happening? It'll make sense later. I promise. Baby carriage. Okay, I have no idea what we're doing. Maybe seven okay. or eight. We got a big old. Uh, Salty Bitch says, "Dang, he's pretty chill." Life's yeah, he was. And then Bullshit says, "Ah, he's cool." Not even the ironic forces of tragedy can stop our love. All right, leaving. <gasps> he's got an axe. We can chop wood. Oh, did I cut? It? Did I cut your wife? I'm sorry. We need firewood. We need trees. We need things to cut. It is worth mentioning at this juncture that the axe I'd made was so sharp it could reduce a full-grown tree to perfectly sliced firewood logs in a single strike. Oh my! I really was an amazing blacksmith. You were. And you are nodding your head. Indeed. Collect firewood. One of five. Light the furnace. What do I have to do to get in there? Do I just have to push it in? Get in there. Ah. I don't know why I'm doing this, Regan. Get in there. Wood. Hey, I'm pushing you. Come on. Come on. Get in there. It's probably a grab button. Five of five. Alright, we gotta light the furnace and extinguish the pyre. Alright, so I don't need you. What are you doing? It's a blues riff and B. Watch me for the changes and try to keep up. This isn't how I wanted to spend our day, Harold! Let's make it happen! Fantastic! Okay. Can't do anything with you. Have I gotten all the characters? Nope. There's one over there. Which is, should be death, right? Let's move! Right? Yes, yeah, so it's over there. It should be death on that side of the building. Alright. I don't know what the plan is yet. First comes love. Then comes marriage. Then comes a whole lot of babies in a baby carriage. Maybe five or six. <laughs> True. Lovers. Love later. Okay, how do I light a fire? Oh, there. Oh, there. Hmm. Alrighty. Nighty night, Chip. Can I do anything with this? I do not see death. Is it you? You're the mystery guest on the map. Yeah, it's 100% you. How's it going, mysterious lady? I'm working on solving some puzzles. Here in history times, I guess? Hey, any advice you can give me on avoiding the mistakes of the future? Sure, just... I was kidding. I was kidding. Oh, no. Jeez. Spoilers. <laughs> This man does not like his spoilers. He's out here to preserve. I I respect it. I would get some. I would definitely try to get some spoilers. Let's go. Gee, spoilers. <laughs> okay, what's up here? Can I do anything up here? A sleeping tree. A thick sleeping tree. Look at that dump truck. Whoa there. Whoa there, buddy. All right. Oh, jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's possess somebody. Let's see what we can do with this tree. I love her. Everyone, stand back. This could be dangerous. He's thick. He's a thick ass boy. Damn. How do I get up there? I need someone who can jump. All right, ready, run, and jump. Gotcha. Now here, sleeping on the job. <laughs> it's a sack. 
How do I wake you up? Right, I'm chopping things. All I wanted was a quiet date where I could sing songs with my lady love. I'm doing something right. Things are moving. Things are kind of moving. You're right, Salty. He, he, the, the, the building was thick. Yes? Kind of? Am I doing what I need to be doing? Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I forgot. This game gives you hints. <laughs> hints. Hint two. Oh! Let's, let, yeah, let's pour the holy water on the fire. I completely forgot about the hints. <laughs> okay. Come on! I was up all night. The power of water compels you fire. Compel that fire. Don't stop combusting. But the witch was still tied to the pole. There had to be some way to get her down. We need the axe guy, don't we? We need the axe guy, don't we? No, don't even give me raw. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the hints though. The hints know all. I knew. I knew. All right. All right, axe man. Get over here. Maybe five or six. Maybe six. Everyone, stand back. This could be dangerous. Hey. I like how this lumberjack is a lot skinnier than the lumberjack we know. Hey, careful with that axe! Don't move! You're making it harder! And <laughs> Jiggle. It was really hard not to hit her. Easy does it. Would this be the hit to cut down the pole? The nope. answer was clearly Here goes nothing! Yes! Got it! I'm still stuck to the pole, genius! Well, I'm fresh out of ideas. Now that the witch was free, I was almost there. All I needed was to get some wood in the oven, then to get that fire lit. How hard could it be? Actually, I got it the fire lit. It was a straightforward process that definitely did not require a witch to use her burning act to start things burning. Mm-hmm. All I can do is bend my head down. Oh, uh -huh. Let's uh, get that furnace started with a, a flaming witch. And he loves me. Together we're in harmony. Oh my. All right. Bend your head Once down. Once the furnace was heated up, I threw the guy's scythe in. I needed to get the fire hot enough to forge metal. Ideally, I'd throw some gasoline on it. But as that hadn't been invented yet, I had to improvise. Mm -hmm. All right, we got it. So we just leave her like this? Is this how she dies? We need the trumpet guy to blow on the fire! Power of the trumpet man! Let's go. Let's go. Let's see, how tough the rope? That rope is probably made of adamantium. Or vibranium! Blow on that fire. Get it hot, get it hot, get it hot. That ought to do it. Now to hammer it back into shape. Alright. I knew I had to hit the scythe carefully. Just the right amount of power. Gentle. So gentle. Gentle. I knew it would take just the tiniest possible time. Oh, it's over here. That controls my arm actions. Metaphorically, of course. Fix the site. There's a barrel in the way. I can't really do anything. There we go. There we go. Not that soft. Come on, it's forging metal. Let's forge that metal. Get it a little. A little. Yeah. <gasps> Damn it. Oh. And it's broken forever. <laughs> oh crap! What the heck was that? Who'd I stick? I knew this wasn't my fault. 
Somehow, someone had taken control of my body and messed the whole thing up due to their, I'll say it, inexpertise at controlling my body. Mm -hmm. Which I've been doing for years at an expert level. Blaming us. One thing to do. Blaming us. Here you go, spooky sir. Good as new. Definitely not damaged in any way. <laughs> in fact, I've made some improvements. See? Tired of working hungry? Worry no longer. At the cost of just a slight decrease in your sight's reaping potential, now you can use it for snacking as well. It works especially great for those hard-to-reach snacks, thanks to the stick. Hey, what the heck? You broke my dang sign. What? No, I definitely didn't break your scythe. I definitely had broken his scythe. So again, to reiterate, this is definitely not my fault. Nope. Do you dare to defy death? I didn't know you were the real one, man. I thought this was all just cosplay. <laughs> uh oh. Find the missing piece of my side, or these chains will be your tomb. Was this the time to be sassy? It kind of felt like it. It's kind of hard to find anything wrapped in chains, Broniac. Silence, Zorgel! It turned out, no, it was not the time to be sassy. Yeah. Lesson learned, I guess. <laughs> and that's the story of how I died. The end. The end. Just a casual death, you know. She got him there. Chapter 5! Alright everybody, I hope you all enjoyed. I've been your host, Tony the Brony, and this is Flipping Death. That's it. Hope you all enjoyed that chapter. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, so if you're... Um, if you enjoyed this, uh, please follow me on YouTube, um, where I post all my edited versions of my streams at Tony Debroni. And if you're watching this in the future on YouTube, come fo join me on Twitch at Tony Debroni. Secondly, if you're not in my Discord, you should definitely join that so you get the uh, updates on whenever I'm about to stream. Uh, other than that, y'all have a great night. Bye bye. Whoop. Wrong button. Nighty night, salty biscuits. <laughs> Crash. All I gotta do is not crash. Just don't crash. Oh. I'm out of nitrous acid, nitric acid, not black. I'm out of the gas, is what I shall call it now. See, the way I see it, there are two types of racers. There's the racers who like to save their speed to the end, and then there are the racers who like to blow it all in the beginning. I feel fast. Asphalt injection. Ah. Hey, what's up, Sonny? Nice yeah, I'll play. This round is free, young lady. Okay, focus on the ball. Ready? Here we go. Left, right, left, middle, right, left, right, middle. Middle, of course. And you win. See? It's simple. You shuffle faster for me. Mm -hmm. Another try, young lady? Oh, and you can place a bet, too. Oh, he's gonna fuck me up. All right, let's do it. Excellent. If you win, you get double. Small, please. I only have enough money for a small. Wise bet. You don't take your eyes off the cup. Ready? Here we go. All right. Middle, left. Middle, right. Right, right, right. Right. Left, hit, right. It's on the right. Whoa. Excellent pick, young lady. Excellent pick, young lady. Yeah, he does look Another like a round? cop. I'm gonna get in on this. Put a little bet down in my own. The lady is focused. I shut the hell up. Shoot. Left my wallet near the cam. Get it for me, lamb chow. Not a servant. But I'm gonna take that money. Hey, hey, all right. She left it near the can. Let's go. Hey, 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 you done fucked up letting me get your wallet. Because lights are when you. And you want. Get through.